Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys a crazy glitch in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online that allows you to sit in the passenger seat of any car and drive it while sitting in the passenger seat. It is one of those really cool and crazy glitches in GTA 5 Online, and I guess you could classify this as the right hand drive glitch. It is really easy, very simple as well, but at first it will take some time to achieve, but once you do get the hang of things, the glitch itself becomes very, very simple. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video so I can show you guys how this glitch is done. Now for the glitch itself, you will need some help from a friend, and you also want to get yourself a random car, whether it's your own, your friends, or one off the street, and you want to park it up against the wall, like I've done in the video, so the driver's door is against the wall, so it cannot be opened. So getting into the glitch itself, you have to be very precise with the timing, but basically what you want your friend to do is get into the car and sit in the passenger seat at the exact same time whilst you're trying to leave the vehicle, so you both sit down in the passenger seat at the exact same time. Now trust me when I say this, this glitch is a lot harder than it looks and sounds. It will take you a few attempts before you achieve it, but once you do get the hang of things and you sort of understand how important and how precise the timing has to be, you will find this glitch a lot easier. Now, as you can see in the video, I have slowed down the clip, and this is basically what you want to do. As your friend is getting into the car and he has just finished sitting down and he reaches for the door handle, what you want to do is try and leave the vehicle, so you swap over into the passenger seat, so you're both sitting down in the passenger seat at the exact same time. And once you do this, for some reason the game glitches out, and it gives you the ability to start driving the car from the passenger seat, and it gives you full operation of the pedals and the steering wheel. So there you go, that is how this glitch is done. Now as mentioned previously, Previously, it is in fact a very easy glitch, it will simply take you a few attempts before you actually achieve it, but of course once you do so, you can have some fun with this glitch whilst driving around in GTA 5. It may also be worth mentioning that this glitch also works on all consoles, so yes it works on the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. Now unfortunately there is a huge downside to this glitch, and that is that only you yourself can see yourself sitting in the passenger seat of the car and driving it. To everyone else in the game, including your friend who just helped you do this glitch, they will see you sitting in the driver's seat and driving the car normally as if nothing had changed. So obviously that is disappointing, but nevertheless it's still a very cool and fun glitch which you can do in GTA 5, and if you do want to try this glitch out, you could do it with a friend, and once you get fed up of the glitch, you can swap over with your friend so they can have a go. Well, with that being said, I do hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot, and it's also greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to leave a comment on this video to let me know your thoughts about this glitch. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.